Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, so as you can see, I have the front bumper removed on my 85Z and that's because today I'm going to be going through my entire intercooler setup with you guys. Um, over the past day or so, I've been kind of changing a few things up in terms of the routing of the intercooler piping. And now that I'm all finished, I'm just gonna kind of go through everything with you guys, try to show you as much as I can and kind of all the parts and sizes and you know bends whatnot um, just gonna go through those with you guys and see what I can do so I'm gonna start at the turbo so way down in there it's gonna be hard for you to see I have a T3 T4 hybrid turbo and it may be a little different than what you're running but the flange coming off the turbo I believe it is a two inch I'm not exactly sure on that but there's a 45 degree coupler that kind of points it straight up and then right where you see these two clamps there's just a small piece of metal there to join the two couplers and then this coupler here is a bending reducing coupler so it starts at the two inch it goes up it bends 90 degrees and then the flange here is a 2.5 inch so that was a very helpful coupler for this build um, I'll link uh, in the description I'll link a link to where I got all this stuff in case you're interested um, everything is going to be 2.5 inch from here on uh, here I have a 45 degree aluminum pipe with my tile blow-off valve on it then we have a 45 degree coupler which comes to the front here this is going to be just a straight section of aluminum pipe I think it's just over a foot long uh, we have just a simple straight coupler here and then this uh, is kind of what I changed up recently. This is a 135 degree aluminum pipe that I cut to a very small kind of section. It used to be very long. Um, so that goes from here and then down here. This is a 45 degree uh, silicone coupler again that I kind of cut down really short. And then we have the intercooler obviously. I will be going over the specs on this uh, right after I finish with the uh, piping comes out over here this is going to be a 90 degree bend coupler we have a one foot section of aluminum pipe another 90 degree bend we have a, another aluminum pipe I think it's just over a foot long uh, basic silicone coupler straight 45 degree bend aluminum pipe 45 degree bend silicone coupler 45 degree bend aluminum pipe and then a 2.5 inch to 2.75 inch uh, coupler just to adapt to the size of the throttle body and that's kind of the routing of the piping so if we come down here now we can take a look at the intercooler so <clears throat> this intercooler I got off of eBay um, the link no longer works I can't find it so I can't really link it to you guys but it's basically like a v-mount style so it's got the inlet and the outlet both facing up um, 2.5 inch for both of them uh, size wise it's going to be three inch thick it's the core part of it is going to be 11 inches tall and i believe this was 17 or 18 inches in length and then the overall length of the intercooler is 24 inches and I remember when buying this, they had a larger size as well. I think it was like 27 or 28 inches in length. But you have to keep into account the actual, you know, distance you have to work with. You have to fit it in between the frame rails. And I remember that size wasn't going to fit or it was just barely going to fit. So I didn't want to risk it. So I went with the smaller size. But it's a very good unit. Uh, it's got a good amount of weight to it. And I haven't had any issues. Uh, I also just made these. This is kind of just the mounting brackets. It goes from these little uh, bungs on the top and then I kind of just drilled some holes into the crash bar and that keeps it nice and strong. And yeah, that's pretty much the intercooler setup. There's uh, two things you really have to uh, keep into account when you make something and that's kind of right here in the front. You have very limited amount of space to fit the piping through because the bumper is so tight. And especially if you have a uh, three-row rad like I do, this is the Champion Radiator, 
it makes it even harder to fit the piping over it. Um, what I actually did was I, bend, I bent this uh, flange for the rad just so that the rad sits a little bit lower and that helps with keeping the piping uh, kind of as tight as possible because when the bumper is on it kind of sits you know on a slant like this and my old setup it worked fine but it was kind of rubbing against the bumper and it was kind of bulging the plastic out and I didn't want to ruin the bumper like that so that's kind of why I switched to this setup. Um, this thing right here is kind of your latch. This goes right like this. It sits just like that. Your bumper kind of mounts to this. Here's your latch for the, uh, the hood. And this distance here is very important. So as you can see, this one has some room. This one's very tight. It's kind of rubbing on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a uh, washer just underneath this mounting bolt here and it will push it up just a bit and then that should give us the clearance we need. Um, also with this metal plate this is kind of where the bumper rests on so with it installed you can see where the bumper really wants to go and the piping is uh, pretty flush with it. It might be sticking out just a bit but again it's much better than what I had before and yeah that's just how I'm keeping it. So yeah guys, that's my intercooler setup. Hopefully you learned something new here and you kind of got inspired for your own setup. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you guys. But uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.